My Gaming Edge. Hey everybody, this is Platinum from MyGamingEdge.com and today I'm going to be going over fast gunboat rollouts on all of the major competitive maps. Um, these jumps are mainly used to surprise the enemy and to get your team a 4 on 3 advantage when you get to middle. So you have to kind of work out with your demo how you're going to get heal orders at the start. But mainly you want to get to close to like 280, 300 before you start jumping so that you can get there just as fast if not faster than their demo man. So that makes a huge advantage, especially if they're not expecting it, and it can really turn the tide uh, for your team at middle. So I'm going to go ahead and load up Badlands, because that's everybody's favorite map, and uh, the first jump's loading up right now. All right, the demo's loaded up. So um, on this jump, um, you're going to go through the long way, through like through, uh, through Spire area, and what you want to try and do is catch their demo off guard right when he's catching the health pack. You're going to arrive with around 150 health if you do it correctly, and uh, a demo never expects to see a soldier flying on the balcony, like, towards him. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, resume it now. That's where you normally catch the demo man. Um, around 9:42 is when normal demo men that aren't Banny get to middle. Banny's a little faster; he gets there at like 9:44. So you might have had to jump towards the house if you, if I wanted to catch him. But uh, yeah, that's the first jump. I'm gonna load up the second jump now. All right. So for this jump, what I mean, you're sacrificing a little bit of time for a little bit more health and for your scouts to be more involved in the fight rather than just your demo and you versus their demo. So uh, yeah, with that I'm going to play the, de uh, the jump now. Uh, you do the same normal jumps at the beginning, but instead of going down through the lower, you go up the stairs and then out the catwalk. I like to jump off the wall, some people like to jump off the actual catwalk, but I feel like the wall is better. And then you get there right at 9.42 again when the demo would be walking out of the house. And, uh, should be able to kill him if he's not expecting you. Uh, okay, so those are the two jumps that I use on Badlands for the most part. Uh, I'm going to move on to Granary now. Alright, for this first jump on Granary, uh, you you want to send your demo through Garage or up on the Catwalk because you're going to end up taking the big health pack at middle because you're sacrificing a lot of health for speed. Um, but if your demo man plays it correctly, he'll have the same amount of health that he would normally have and uh, you'll be there with him at middle. So... Uh, with that being said, you want to try to attack them, their demo man, who's going to be weak if you can beat him to the health pack. It all depends really on his speed, if you can make your speed consistent. If he goes extremely fast, like some of the demos in Invite, uh, you might not be able to catch him before he gets the health pack, but for a lot of you intermediate and open players, if you can perfect this jump and get there, you can beat him to the health pack a lot of times and kill him with one rocket as you're flying over middle. So, that being said, I'm going to play the demo now. You don't have to spam your fourth rocket after health back. I mean, you can always use that to escape and make a distraction too. These are just kind of general, like if the demo's there or if the scouts are there, or whatever. You just shoot at the health back. So, all right, for the second jump, yeah, the second jump, I don't, I don't really like to do unless something screwing up your jumps out of the left side, like a scout's pushing you or something. But uh, for some reason, you want to go all, like to the right through second point and go through the garage that way. Um, this is how you would do it, but um, in the third jump I'll show you how to do it without going to the right side, but I'm going to play the second jump now. And then when you get to the 
top, you jump over to their health pad, grab it, and uh, you'll be at like a 150, but that's not really the best way to do it. Um, if for some reason you want to or you think you can come up with something better, that's how I would get into the right side. Uh, but right now, yeah, I'm going to play the third jump, which is a jump that I would do if I was trying to go to the right side instead of to the left on Greenery. So go ahead and play the demo now. Yeah. makes it pretty easy with this window that you can just hop through. Yeah, and you'd grab the health pack and be at like 170 and be all over them around the same time you would be if you went left. So that's uh, Those are the granary jumps that I would use to uh, surprise their demo man at middle because uh, sometimes their demo man can be left unchecked at middle on granary and that's when teams usually tend to crumble. So if you can neutralize their demo, you should win middle pretty easily. All right, let's go on to the cold front jumps, which a lot of people don't know about and don't think are even worth it because they can't get to the middle at the same time as the demo, but in fact that's entirely not true. And I'm going to show you with these uh, these jumps now. So I'm going to load up the demo right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play the first jump in a second, but uh, I want to talk about it for a second. Uh, what Right when you go out the door... You can do a double jump off the left wall, but I've, I've found it easier to jump off of these crates that I'm going to jump off of. And then that's where it gets really tricky, and you really have to either be really good at rocket jumping or practice a lot, because it's a lot of inside rocket jumps, which are a lot harder to do than just you know shoot the ground and you go up. So you have to really get the perfect angle and uh, put your crosshair in the right places. Like You have to actually aim your rocket jumps if you want to make these correctly and get the speed that you need to beat the demo to middle. Or at least get there at the same time as him. So I'm going to go ahead and play the first jump. And uh, if done correctly, this jump, if you jump out, when I do, the demo will be right there getting ready to shoot a sticky at you because he'll probably have fired one at the cliff already. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it now. Okay, so that, yeah, that was the first jump. It can be done a little bit quicker if you get a faster jump off the front, like at the, at, at the first jump like I did. Um, but the second jump was pretty good. The jump outside of the window thing on the area of the top in the yard, you can land on the health pack if you do that right and get to middle with 200 health. So it works out pretty good. So And you're de it leaves your demo able to go left or to go right, whichever way he wants to go without taking any of his health packs. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up the second uh, cold front jump right now. All right, it's loaded up, but before I play it, um, this is a jump that's virtually the same first jumps as the first jump that you saw to middle, but instead of going through main, I'm going to go to the left, and, and what you want to do is you want to either take the health pack if they do a big jump over to your right side to lock it down, or you want to get the health and then jump up to cliff in case their demo's on cliff or if he's coming out main or whatever you'll have the advantage because he will have less health than you. you you just grab the medium health pack so uh, that being said i'm going to help go ahead and play the second jump now Okay, that's the uh, the cliff attack jump, I guess I would call it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, the third jump, which is if you want to jump your cliff and like do a little delay just in case you did the main jump already and the demo's expecting you. And this is a good way to um, surprise him from jumping up top instead of jumping out main where he can pretty easily stick you if he knows you're coming. So I'm going to go ahead and load that up now. All right, uh, the demo's loaded up. Um, you can go ahead and play it now. Okay, 
Okay, so those are the jumps that I would use on cold front if you want to be ballsy and try and learn those jumps because they're they're more they're more of the difficult jumps um, on the way to middle. Like some are pretty easy, like granary, but cold front has a lot of tricky ones that you really need to know what you're doing to be able to pull off consistently. Um, that being said, I'm going to go to some probably even harder ones on gully wash, uh, jumping through the inside of places. So uh, yeah, I'm going to load up the first gully wash jump right now. Okay, gully wash. Um, this first jump uh, is designed to get there as quickly as possible and tr catch their demo man right before they get the health pack. Um, you'll see I waste an extra rocket doing a jump that I normally would, would save, but uh, you're trying to get there and hit him right when he is getting the health pack, and you should be able to kill him. Um, when you jump, you should have three rockets, but I end up having two just because I missed time to reload on one of the jumps, but... Uh, yeah, that's how it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and play the first jump now. Give him hell! And if you time it right, you should either hit him right as he gets it and pop him up, or you should be able to kill him before he even touches the health pack. Um... Okay, let's go to the second gully wash demo. I'm going to load that up right now. Now this jump, what you're trying to do is go exactly where we would have killed their demo man um, in the first jump. But uh, you're going to go to the left side of middle, basically, and either try to protect your demo from scouts or just get there quickly uh, just so you can jump on them or do whatever. You're just going to have good positioning um, without taking any of your demo man's health packs. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play that demo now. You get there pretty fast, and you don't even have to do that last jump that I did. But, uh, yeah, if you do that correctly, you should get to middle with close to 200 health, and your dumb man should be right behind you if he's going that same way. And it's a 4 on 3 for the first couple seconds of middle, which is always a huge advantage. Um, okay, let's load up the third gully wash jump, uh, which is a jump I actually never even thought was that useful, but Jaeger did it a couple times when I was playing against him, and... I don't know if it's the most effective thing, but if they're not expecting it, you could definitely do a lot of damage and possibly get a couple picks if you do it um, correctly. So I'm going to load up the uh, third demo now. Okay, go ahead and play the demo now. Um, you're going to conserve one of the jumps down here uh, that I did on the first one, just because you want to have 200, close to 200 health when you do this. And if you do that big double jump and you land those two rockets simultaneously on everything coming out and you land up top, there's not a whole lot they can do unless the scout knows you're coming and he jumps up and meat shots you. And you land up there and you can sit up there for as long as you want because um, Splash won't generally hit you unless some people hit some good shots. So either way, you're forcing them to waste a lot of ammo on you and you did a lot of damage with those two initial rockets as you were flying down on them. So uh, yeah, those are the three gully wash jumps. They're a little tricky. But uh, once you once you get the inside jump patterns down, uh, you, you should be okay. Uh, that being said, we're going to go to a little bit more of an open map in Yukon. I have two jumps there that uh, I would use to try and seal off the other team. I'm going to load up the first Yukon jump now. Okay, well this first Yukon jump, you're trying to go as fast as possible without taking too much damage. So it's one of those where you're going to end up at middle at around 150 health. So sacrifice about 50 health. Uh, to get good position, and if you can do it fast enough, you will totally seal out the other team if they're coming lower, uh, which is huge on Yukon Middle. So I'm going to go ahead and play the demo now. Give them hell, boys! And when you get there, you jump up and over, right around 150 health, and you have four rockets to spam down on that little choke, which can do a ton of damage for your team. Uh, the second jump, which I'm loading up right now, is going to be 
going kind of the long route and you want to get up top left before anybody can really see you go up there or if they're coming from top then you'll have that area sealed off so your team won't have to worry about flankers coming from there. So go ahead and play it now. And then you have that whole area to yourself. Okay, so those are basically the Yukon jumps that I would use uh, in a game. Um, and last but not least is the very new and hyped up, but not very well known, Snake Water. And uh, I've come up with three jumps there that I think would be pretty effective on middle, considering their demo men can get there so fast. It would be huge to have a two-on-one advantage um, against their demo man. So I'm going to load up the first Snake Water demo jump now. All right, this first jump is going to land you right on top of everything with basically full health, um, or pretty close to it, and you have huge position, probably before their demo man gets there if you can go fast enough. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play this first one now. Okay, that's the first snake water jump, and like I said earlier, like you would have to work out the heal orders with your demo man, which uh, you know he would probably go right because you're taking that big health pack on the left. So that way you guys both utilize the medium health packs in the middle instead of just leaving one there for no reason. Like you can just you can get there with this, you know, with the same health um, with your demo man and your soldier. So there's no really no reason not to use it if you're gonna run gunboats on snake water middle. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna load up the second snake water jump now. Alright, this one, uh, you're going to go to the right side in case your demo man wants to go left, that middle, so uh, this is one variation of how to go right side um, and get the health backs and stuff, and uh, the third jump will be a different variation, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the second jump now. Yeah, so basically you're, you have height advantage the entire time and you make a pretty good distraction on that one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up the third uh, demo now. Alright, it's loaded up and uh, this is just a different variation um, in case you want to make yourself a huge distraction instead of doing damage, which is a completely viable strategy if your team capitalizes on it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the third jump now. And uh, there you have it for the main push maps. Uh, the only other two maps that are pretty competitive are Gravel Pit and Viaduct. And obviously Gravel Pit you can't really do fast jumps the middle because there's no middle. And Viaduct, it's just, it's really not worth it to go fast because you can't even cap the point for a good 15-20 seconds, whatever it is, in the middle. So uh, I hope you guys learned something. Um, these are the jumps that I found to be the most effective because if when you have the buff, you want to go as fast as you can because the less time you take doing your jumps when you have your buff, uh, the less health you're going to lose because the buff goes down in health. So it really uh, makes a difference if you can speed up your, your jumps and time everything correctly. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. And uh, I know all the demo men out there hate me right now, but, uh, you know, uh, this is just something i got to teach my fellow soldiers. So... Uh, this is Platinum from MyGamingEdge.com, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.